Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you a question. How often do you exercise? Or better yet, how often do you used to exercise? Researchers from the University of Gothenburg, Sweden have made a sample of over 3,200 participants, 2,300 of which were 18-year-olds who were part of this study, and they have concluded that those who did exercise versus those who didn't had a positive correlation in their bone density and thickness of their bone as far as durability and less likely hood towards uh, retracting osteoporosis, which is a disease linked to having fragile bones. Another research of 360 participants of only 19-year-olds randomly selected were also taken into consideration. They mainly looked at the heels of these um, participants, mainly to see how they would compare to those of the 18-year-olds, and similarly said, however, they particularly looked at those who stopped exercising, so those who had at least a six-year break, yet still exercised at least once, twice, or three times per week before that break, it still had a positive correlation to their bone structure and the density of their bones compared to those who never exercised at all. This is especially crucial for the long run because looking at when you're older, that would mean that you'd have more brittle bones and more likely to contract osteoporosis, as these researchers have stated. Finally, what these researchers did was look at how important it is in the long run. So for 75-year-olds, for example, these researchers looked at 500 randomly selected 75-year-olds who had exercised once, twice, or three times more or more between the ages of 10 to 30, and this showed a positive correlation in the long run. They still had more durable bones and had thicker bones as well, which means that their bone structure is much less likely to contract diseases or break down, and it just means that when you exercise young, you have a much more powerful bone structure in the long run, and that is exactly what these researchers have concluded, that you should exercise while you're young, it does have a positive correlation to when you grow old. So the next time you consider whether or not you want to exercise, regardless of your age, you should still be willing to exercise and putting in that extra effort. These researchers have been published in several peer-reviewed journals and thus proving their validity. And one of the most common diseases is osteoporosis. And to prevent that, it's really simple, just exercising one to three times per week while you're young, preferably between the ages of 10 to 30, it makes a significant impact when you are older.